YouTubers? video of 2018. Today we're doing a classic experiment, moldy bread. So what caused me to do this experiment? Well, I discovered after cleaning our artwork off our board that at the bottom of each Clorox wipe disinfectant container there is juice. After a month or so of collecting, we've ended up with three containers worth at the bottom of Clorox wipe juice. And I thought, how do I prove that this is actually working? The moldy bread experiment. For those of you that don't know, you take bread and you, eat, you cover it with wide ranges of chemicals and to see which one molds first. Now we are working with a wide range of chemicals, which means do not, under any circumstances, do this anywhere. I don't do my normal warning anymore because it's just cringeworthy. And so I'm telling you, in person, in person, do not do this. You can do just the normal bread with water, sugar water, salt water. That's fine. But do not go to the extent that we are doing. We are smartish people. Anyways, so we have a wide range of chemicals here. We have tap water. Tastes awful. We have one piece of bread covered in nothing. We then have some sugar water. Mm. That tastes great. We have some isopropyl alcohol to prove to you that this is 70% isopropyl alcohol. I'm not going to drink it, but check this clip. Time to prove that this is actually isopropyl alcohol down here. Now, that didn't work. All right. Let's, uh, do that. See? Ta-da! Lights off like nothing. Now the cup is on fire. This should go over quite well, I would think. Oh, well, look at that. It's melting the cup. See? Oh, here we go. See, it's going to get down to the alcohol. It's going to go kind of like whoosh. Hopefully, maybe, I don't know. We'll see. Huh. Fumes are toxic. But look at it, it's getting close. See? It's about to hit the alcohol. Let's see, let's see. Ooh, the, the melted plastic is dipping into the alcohol. And look, the alcohol is actually burning, not the cup. But um, let's cut to the future, let's cut back to the lab. Welcome back. We now have some hydrogen peroxide three percent. Now, if you don't know anything about hydrogen peroxide, then you should know that it decomposes over time, releasing the oxygen that it contains, meaning that it's no longer hydrogen peroxide, H2O2. And this is expired. It expired on the first, on January 1st, 2018. It is currently about mid-January, so this, we'll see how it goes. We have lavender scented bleach, Clorox bleach. Still works though. And then we have Lysol disinfectant spray, which is what we're comparing our disinfectant wipes to. Is it better to spray or wipe? So I completely like soaked it and just sprayed a piece of bread in it. You we'll to see. So now we're going to cut to show you all the pieces of bread, and then we'll cut to the future. So here we are. At all of our pieces of bread. We have the hydrogen peroxide, we have the nothing, our control, we have the Clorox wipes, this is our big money winner here, hopefully it won't rot. We then have the bleach, which looks like it's rotten already, but the bleach apparently started to break down the bread, so we'll see how that looks in a few weeks. We have the alcohol, which also started to break down the bread, you can see the crust has um, 
kind of removed itself from the rest of the bread. So we'll see how that goes. We have water. We have the Lysol spray, which kind of looks like it buttered the bread. It's a little more yellow than, say, the rest, but we'll see how that goes. And then we have the sugar water. So maybe that'll have an effect compared to the wa normal water, but we'll see. So now it's time to cut to the future. And we're back. Last time you saw me, which was a fraction of a second ago, it was January or February, depending on what I said. It's now currently middle of March, so it's probably been about two months or a month and a half. And our bread has some interesting results. As you can see, my board is empty, but that doesn't matter. Let's look at the results of our bread. Here we are with the moldy bread. So, um, we'll get to this stuff here in a minute. Let's get, let's start with our control, um, which is stuck to the hydrogen peroxide bag. Interesting. Anyways, the nothing. There's no mold. None. The, uh, bread feels stiff, though, and kind of hard, and everything's sticky. Ew, 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 ew. So now we're moving on to the bleach, which I shouldn't touch without gloves, but whatever. Uh, no mold. It... Looks almost better than the day we put it in there, so I think that's an improvement. Clorox wipes, um, looks kind of just bleached to be honest. There's no mold, so fine. Moving on to the next thing uh, hydrogen peroxide definitely looks bleached, bleached better than the actual bleach, which is interesting. Anyways, so, um, white, there's no mold, it's just white and kind of mushy. All of this is mushy, because it's all been soaked. Then the alcohol bag. Here's something I want to point out about the alcohol bag. It's filled with air. Now, this was empty, just like the nothing bag. There's, like, no air in here. But, Phil, that's alcohol vapor. So, it's not the right mixture of air, so it won't explode if I take a flame to it. It might light on fire, but it's not going to go poof, because it's not the right mixture of air to alcohol vapors. Then we get to the Lysol wipes, which I think is the best. Oh, not the Lysol wipes, but just the Lysol. We sprayed it with Lysol. It's, it's, it's stiff. It's stiff. There's no mold. It, it's, it's in the best shape. Would I eat it? No. So now we get to the interesting stuff. So the sugar water. Um, I'm pretty sure there's mold on the outside the bag. Let me just, uh, Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure it's mold on the outside of the bag. That's not good. Um, as you can see, the bag opened a little bit because the sugar water like contracted the bag together. I'm not sure how that happens. We're just gonna pull this aside, and then we have the water, which that just looks disgusting and nasty. And look at that! Look at that color. Oh, that's that's awful. Uh, the sugar water. Molded first, then the normal water. I don't have any updates because that was weeks upon weeks ago. And so, I'm I'm going to throw these two away. We're going to keep the other ones. I mean, we'll do an update in a few weeks. But, oh, geez, these are nasty. They're nastier than I thought they were. But, um, does that support my hypothesis? To be honest, I don't remember what my hypothesis was. So, leave a comment and tell me if I was right or not. But... In the meantime, we're going to try and do a selfie here. Please like, comment, and share new videos every Friday, and good night. Oh, I didn't see you there. Well, uh, if you like this biology video, check the link in the description below. There's more of them. And while you're there, hit subscribe.